Today, we explore one of the easiest exercises that helps to keep us healthy, walking. Everywhere, we are encouraged to stay within our comfort zone, even when we know how important physical activity is for us. When we visit our beloved doctors, they always worry about our diet and activity level. Walking is the simplest physical exercise for all. To know more about the physical benefits of walking, today we have a nurse who has 20 years of experience in various settings, including hospitals, nursing homes, and academics. Welcome to our show, Theralza Ellington. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for How coming. How are you today? I'm okay. How are you? Good, good, good. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, as you said, I have 20 years experience. I am currently the continuing education coordinator in the continuing oh education and workforce development department here at Capital Community yeah. College. And I've worked here for 12 years mm -hmm. as a CNA, or Certified Nursing Assistant Lab and Clinical Instructor. So I, I feel at home being here and it's such a pleasure mm -hmm. to be able to help yeah. you with your program. Definitely. Um, I feel like that's something that, that, that always comes around and, you know, helps, helps, helps us grow and develop, you know. Absolutely. Um, I do have a few questions for you, so we, we want to get right into it. Okay. Question number one, when it comes to easy access of transportation today in our time, people use cars to go to nearby schools, mm -hmm. to the store, or to our local parks. So it is rare to see people walking in streets. In what ways does walking benefit us? Well, walking, as you mentioned, is one of the easiest exercises you can do. Um, we start learning to walk as babies. Now, granted, some people have physical limitations and they have to use certain walking aids or, you know, um, ambulation assistance, right, such as a cane or a walker and things of that nature. Um, but if you are able to walk, then it definitely helps to keep your weight in check. Mm. It helps to keep your peristalsis, that's your bowel movements going, mm, keep that definitely. flowing. Um, walking helps to boost up your metabolism. It helps you to burn off a few calories. It helps to keep your bones strong, your muscles mm. strong. So those are just a few benefits of walking. Definitely, wow. That is very good to know, especially for, for a lot of people, you know. We want to go ahead and be a little bit inclusive, not only just, you know, represent that walking not only, you know, helps us in, you know, just those few various ways, but in many more. Right. Um, the second question, during this modern life, people are busy from early morning to late at night. Mm -hmm. And sometimes weather becomes a barrier for walking outside. What is the best time for walking? Well, it depends on the person, you know, different people have um, different circadian rhythms, their sleep pattern is different, their wake pattern is different, their work schedule, school schedule, life is just different. Mm. You should walk at a time when you have a little energy, when the, your, your energy level is best. Um, once upon a time, I used to walk late in the evening. I find that the older I get, the earlier I wake up. So now I walk at four or five o'clock in the morning and I do it on a treadmill at a gym or in my house. And sometimes I put on those, you know, the old walk away to pounds exercise, but they have a lot of um, exercise that you can do in your own living room. You know, you can step in place, you can walk around your um, immediate surroundings. Um, a lot of times people take the stairs while they're at work or um, once upon a time the mall used to be open and you can go inside and walk around the mall there. Mm. But you definitely want to walk at a time when it's safe. Definitely. When it's safe and if you're going at a time where it's not so much light out, you want to bring a buddy if you can. Absolutely. And also always let someone know where you're going mm. and um, if there are other people around. Mm. You don't want to walk in a place where, where it's isolated. You're the only person yeah. there, you know. Um, some people walk their dog in the morning and they get to walk then. Some people walk the dog in the evening, mm -hmm. you know. Some people take the kids for a walk in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on that individual um, and when they have enough energy so they can nourish their bodies 
while they're walking. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. How much time do you think someone should spend walking? Well, it depends on what you want to do. If you're walking to just maintain where you are health-wise, you're not trying to go up in pounds or muscles or go down, you're just trying to maintain, then it's recommended three to four times a week, about 30 minutes. Okay. But if you're trying to shed a couple after mm -hmm. Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and Christmas Absolutely. and a lot of excitement, mm -hmm. <laughs> then you may want to do 40 minutes, 45 minutes, you know, four to five times a week. Yeah. But it really depends on you. And if you have any health issues, it's best to consult with your doctor, Absolutely. right? Um, I'm not giving medical advice, right? Mm. So if you have any issues that could bar you from walking, then you need to consult with your doctor. But if you want to lose weight, then you want to do it four to five times a week or a little bit more, about 45 minutes. And um, if you just want to maintain three to four days a week is fine, 30 minutes. During the global pandemic, we faced a hard time. Can walking help boost our immune system in any kind of way? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, there's different chemicals in your body without getting too technical, right? Mm. And um, some of them help to raise certain immune levels in your body. And when you walk, those are triggered, right? Yeah. And also, when you walk, you're breathing in oxygen and that helps to boost your metabolism. When you walk, it gives you good endorphins are released, right? Like, you know, most exercises. Mm, yeah. And good. so that helps to boost your mood, mm. right? So walking doesn't only help to boost you uh, physically, it also helps to boost you mentally and emotionally. That is actually really good to know. I sometimes wake up in the morning and, and wonder, you know, I need to go ahead and get my body moving. And, mm -hmm. and, and I start to, you know, wake up and feel a little bit rejuvenated yes. just, just by getting in that air and walking, you know. Right. Even if it is to the bathroom or, right. or just outside. Exactly, um, exactly. Well, fourth question. We're almost at the end of our program. Do you suggest any tips to start or maybe continue this easy exercise of walking? Do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Just> do it. <laughs> you know, as I said, if you're medically cleared, yeah. it's, it's really easy to do. Even, you know, getting up, putting on the TV, and if you like to watch the news, just get up and step in place for a couple minutes. You know, that's an easy start, right? Instead of parking closest to the building, if you drive, Park a little further oh, away yeah. from the building. They'll get a couple extra That's steps a, in. Great idea. If you like to go to the mall, park a little further away mm -hmm. from the door. You can take a little couple extra steps yeah. there. All right. You build walking into your everyday routine. Mm -hmm. Instead of taking the elevator, take the stairs for a flight or two. Right. Mm -hmm. I know we have a lot of stairs here at Capitol, but you don't have to Absolutely. take all of them. Yeah. Take a couple, then take the elevator the rest yeah. of the way. So you have to make a conscious choice. Mm -hmm. This is what I would like to do, right? Mm -hmm. And it just starts with incorporating it little by little into your everyday schedule. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like that's very important to, to always highlight in our days. You know, something so simple can be so beneficial for us. Yes, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Well, thank you for your time, you You're know, welcome. motivating us to live a healthy life by continuing a, you know, physical exercise of walking. Yes. Walking is the most simple and free exercise that helps to get act to help us to get us active and become healthier.